Okay guys, so last week we gave you a video on ball below the feet. Today we've got a ball on a downhill lie. Yep. This is a comment, YouTube comment from Rustlers95. Thanks for the comment guys, as always, much appreciated. So, ball on a downhill lie. So the situation is here, we're on the ninth hole at the Asprey. We've got uh, about 195 yards left to the flag, but we're on this downhill lie. So there's a few things that this slope... To a race green, by the way. Uh, to a yeah, it's actually probably just pretty much level, actually. Yeah. But yeah, so there's a few things we need to look at, Andy, before we even pick the club out of the bag. So yeah. when you're on a downhill lie like this, it's going to make the golf ball go lower, which in a lot of instances, depending on the yardage you have, will make it go further. So first thing we need to do is we need to club up. So Andy, we've got 195. 195 for me. Like uh, 195 would normally be a five iron, so okay. six iron here is perfect. Okay. Based on this slope, I think you know, okay. just one club would, should be enough for that. Right, okay, so first thing before Andy even hits the shot, he's going for a six iron, so he's going for a, uh, a less powerful club because the slope is making it more powerful for him. So, mm. Andy, once we've got the right club, uh, we know the ball's going to go on a lower flight. What The, the setup is key for this, isn't it? So yeah. what, what are you going to do in your setup? Well, the setup, the, the, well, the biggest thing is now that we're on a downhill slope, it is going to affect the balance again. Yeah. And how we set up to the golf ball is going to really help the contact. And I think the biggest issue with this slope is it's the, it's the contact piece. So yeah. a lot of people struggle because they're almost, fighting against the slope yeah for now, sure because they're fighting against the slope generally they'll sort of their club will bottom out too early and they'll get this thin shot that yeah. doesn't even go in the air yeah so or even hit the ground before exactly and that's the probably the biggest thing ground before yeah. or the thin shot so what we want to do with this really is we want to actually we want to go with the slope we mm -hmm. want to set ourselves up so we can actually feel as if we're actually leaning with the slope so yeah. to do this we're going to feel that we're having a little bit more weight into the the lead side Okay, and also what I want you to focus on here is that we want to get the shoulders or, or more level with the slope as yeah. opposed to fighting again, against, fighting against, against it. it. You know, fighting back. against the slope is not going to help you. you f it's going to feel like you're going to need to do it because of your balance, but it's not going to help your golf shot for sure. So the majority of you guys out there would sort of try and recreate a normal setup, yeah. which would be weight 50-50, but then the shoulders now are quite a different angle to the slope. So if you go with more weight in your lead leg and feel as if your shoulders are going to match the slope, so the shoulders are going to feel almost level with the slope really, and that's going to enable you to swing down the slope and get that contact that you need to, to get that ball in there. As opposed to fighting against it. But it will be really strange to start with, won't it? When you first time you ever actually go, well, I'm going to put a bit more weight on that front leg, you're going to feel as though your balance is compromised, but you'll be okay. You won't, you won't fall over. Yeah. Okay, Andy, so just have a look at that again for okay. me if you could. So also, again, just to, just to help the chances of this, just drop the ball position a little bit further back. Again, yeah. as opposed to having it sort of forward of the stance, just drop it back maybe an inch or so, yeah. and that's going to just help and encourage you to get that ball first as opposed to ground or the thin yeah. shot again there. And again, that's going to definitely create a lower ball fight, Certainly, isn't it? Yeah, so it, it's going it's to go you know, lower in the end, so when it's the ground, it's going to run. So this yeah. is actually quite a tough shot here, Andy. With it is a tough shot. I think I'd be delighted back, if I can is... get it on the green here. Oh, I think you should have a go. <laughs> okay. So let me just have a quick look again. Yeah, go through here it again. Line, so my routine. So, okay, I've got my line. So again, most important thing is, again, going with the slope. Now, just a quick one in the golf swing before we hit this. I want to feel that in my practice swing, I want to encourage myself to swing down the slope again, you know, allowing that club to swing down as opposed to stay back. So one more swing, just staying down with it, and then get the setup, and then go. So a little bit of a lean to the left now on that left side. Looks good. And swing down the slope. Oh, it's definitely gone out there low. I think you might get the green with that though. I think there. Ooh, Ooh, just play. just over the bunker there. Yeah, yeah that's good. That'll be on the front right, that one. Not bad. Good shot. Okay, guys, so the, the most important thing with this is make sure that you get your setup correct. Once you get your setup correct, your golf swing will kind of find its key. way. It is the key. Mainly. So, guys, hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video. Post your comments down below, and we'll see you soon. Our job as coaches is to, is to find ways that would work for individuals. Yeah. There's, not, there's not one way for everybody to take our slides. There's no okay, golden rule that if you do this, it's going to fix your slides. But this was just a great example yeah. of.